Hello everyone, and welcome back to Savtech Eight of the Skies, episode 3 here on Same Thing. <laughs> we are back, guys. Okay, so today I did a little bit more of work here on, on our island. I put a lot of dirt here, basically. <laughs> I just filled this whole thing part up with dirt because I want to make a place for our, our storage and what else I also killed a lot of bad guys to get some bone and turned into one meal to make more farms because these are a bit too slow for my taste and well I think that's kind of it ah, ah I also chopped down that, that huge tree that was right there look <laughs> I had like three stacks I used with and no that that was a lot of wood it took like three three axes of stone to break the whole thing but now it's done this should be done as well let me put these back I grabbed some flour just by milling wheat because we can why are there so many horses <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, you can actually burn, not burn this, you can cook these in the grill. I know it doesn't seem really nice to cook in the grill flour, but <laughs> it will turn the flat bread, which is a good source of grain. And what I'm doing to get vegetable is basically baking carrots and potatoes with steak. And you can get a steak dinner, which gives you protein and a vegetable uh, at the same rate. So let's get a bit, a bit more. And now we have grain, we have protein, vegetable, we just need fruit, which we don't have that good of a source right now. So let me just stock this up and we'll start. So. What I want to do first today is actually to start our ritual of Totemic, which is basically we have we need two that are really important to us right now. Let me get it because uh, actually I think we, we get the book if we complete the quest. Let me see. They wanna they want us to make a rattle, flute, and drum. Okay, these are easy. Let me see the flute. It's just three sugar cane plus a grass or a fern. Fur? I don't know how to pronounce these. The red, red, rattle is a stick with a jingle, so we far more sugar canes and some bones. Huh, I don't have enough bones. Hey! You don't see anything, guys. You didn't see anything. Oh, look! Some bones appeared here. <laughs> Just me, let me grab some sugar cane as well. Okay, so we have the sticks. We need the furnace. Where is our... Here? We can easily grab a piece of grass here. Let me see. There. Okay, we have grass, we have the bamboo, and the last thing is the drums. The drums need leather and wood. I think I have these here. Not here, here. Okay, I have one leather down, so let's put three more. Now I just need some wood. And... Okay, I think we have everything to, to build our instruments. Let's go down. I'm eager to leave this area, to be honest. <laughs> okay, first thing first, let's make the flute. It's the easiest one. Some grass here and smash it. Now we need the to make the rattle. To that we need to make the jingles first. There are some bones and some sugar canes. I'm not sure if this if it's this configuration or the other one, but let's try this. Okay, that's right. And you just need to connect it with a stick, and we have a rattle. 
And last but not least, there's also another one here. Where is it? Here. You need to make some drums. Which is just a piece of leather here. And some wood on the sides. I don't think I'll have enough wood. Okay, we got two. Here we go. Just need two string and a bone in the middle. Not in the middle, in the middle part. And smash it. There we go, we have everything. And also we got a Totempedia, which is a book that teaches us about the rituals and things like that. We will make two rituals right up not right now, after we sleep. Which they are and they are let me see. A little about the totems here. And the ceremonies. Just we need the buffalo dance, which will basically turn our cows into buffaloes. And also we need the rich Rite of Spring, yep, which makes animals breed and also turns the saplings around into cedar, red cedar saplings. So we need our totem whittling knife for this, because every ceremony needs to have a totem base in the middle. Where is it? Where are the calls? Oh, there. Hi, <laughs> they followed me. Okay. With these. Also, we might need to break this because as more than one totem base nearby will will, will be not really good for us. Okay, we need a totem base and I want a place to put the chimes. Let's go up one more, shall we? Okay, so no. then we put the chimes, we'll distribute, distribute the drums, and just need the flute and the rattle. So let us see what we need for the ceremony to start. You need to play, basically need to play instruments in a certain order to start the, the ceremony, and after that you need to keep making noise enough for it to, to work. I almost forgot, we need to put the saplings nearby. He's here. And let, let us start. So, we need uh, first the flute, then the drum. Okay. Flute, then the drum. Just hold shift. And let me put these. it wouldn't be able to do that. And the cows bred? Did they breed? I'm not really sure there were some buddies here before. But we got these. Which are those red cedar trees. Okay, let's plant them nearby. We'll need them soon. Just leave them in this area for now. Hopefully, when we finish with the buffaloes, they'll be grown. So, now we need to do the totem, not the totem, the buffalo dance. The buffalo dance is the drum first, then the wind chime. Let me take this out of our right hand and drum, wind chime is here and it's also to dance and jump and fun and make fun the more fun you have while doing this the faster it happens <laughs> and there we go we have 
to bump. Where? Oh, I, I forgot the air. They are actually baby buffaloes. Oh, they are cute. Hey. Hello, buddy. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'll actually do it again because I want to have at least four buffaloes. And there we go. We have four buffaloes here. <laughs> That's nice. We also have two cows. Two baby cows in case we need milk or anything like that. And we can also breed these. They also breed with the wheat as well. So we just need to wait them to grow and we'll be good with that. So now we did the, the other part. We also need the dark gems and the... how is it called? And the... Did it hurt? The whopper? The shark tooth. Okay. We also need to make charcoal. Charcoal is actually really easy to make. I'll show you how, how in a second. Let me just. We need some logs. We actually need to make these these log stacks. I want more than these. Let me make forty. We need to take out the bark first. Then we combine two logs to make these log stacks. After that, you need to take put fire on them. You just need a fire with the fire sticks and bury them into a hole covered with dirt. You can get better results with, with the, the pit, but I don't think we have the materials right now to make. Now it covers it all with dirt, but one space. Then we lit, a, lit it up on fire and we close it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem really... It sounds a bit weird to cover the fire, but it will start burning and it will spread to the other logs. So, the next thing I was gonna do, it's actually a mob farm. And since we don't have many materials right now, I'll make it really cheap. <laughs> Cheaply, I'll make it, make it out of dirt. I know, <laughs> I know it sounds bad, we, we will make it better later, but for now, it will have to be enough. We also need to make a lot of, of slabs. That's exactly what I'm looking for. The dark lands, but without the trees. They take a lot of time to, to break. There's also a lot of water. Oh boy. The leg almost killed me. But of course it will be near night. Let me try to light up these. Just press F F7. Let me light this island up before the bad guys appear. I also wanted to grab some chickens. I'll try to, before we end the video, to grab at least a couple of them so we can have a constant supply of eggs and, and feathers. Because we, we actually need the eggs for a lot of recipes of food and that would be really nice for us. Okay, so this part is flat now and what we're going to do is basically make a path for them to spawn, which will be 2x2, two two. not 2x2, two 2x, two, two I don't know, by something. <laughs> Maybe we can even curve it. For now, I'll leave a torch here, because it's night. Probably enough. And we also need. Let me see. I'll make it three tall in case we get Enderman in the next area. My period, next area. And I think we will, we will get the Enderman. So let me just cover this up. G 
geez, I'm hearing some sounds sometimes <laughs> that just scare the crap out of me. Oh, now we, we need to close these. Now also close. I'm hoping that the big guy that spawns here is just. Three tall, I hope it's not four. But I think it's not. I think we're fine. So we just need to cover these up. The good thing here is that it will actually function better during day. Because the nearby islands won't be spawning any monsters. Huh, I'm actually hearing some sounds of, any, of hostile mobs underground. Maybe there's a hole or anything, something like that that I need to, to cover. Okay, that will be a bit annoying, but let's finish this here first. Now, you just need to put some slabs. Because the, 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 the trick here is that slabs are actually half, half blocks, but they don't let light pass through them. That was a hard sentence to pronounce. <laughs> but basically it will be dark like it would be if there were a full block here and the mobs will be able to spawn because everything else is lit up. So if we... It, it will be actually better if, if we dig down one here or maybe two and put some slabs here as well because then we'll be in the exact height that we need to be like here here kind of works as well but the creepers and archers can see you There are some bad guys <laughs> down here. I actually just needed the cobblestone, but I'll have to investigate what's going on here. Let me just leave one of these in the back. And we'll need to lead up the more area there. Resigning. Oh. Okay. Huh. There's an abandoned abandoned mine here and an abyssal zombie. Uh, can I put this without? Oh boy, there's a lot of bad guys. How do I... Let me put this here. And we can make a stair. I could also do this, right? Down here. And we can actually put these guys here. Oh, there's also shade here. Almost like a trap. <laughs> is that is here enough? There are mobs already. <laughs> you see, there's already some creepers there. That's not what we want, but let me expand these a bit and I'll farm a bit here, guys. So we can easily come here, kill some bad guys. You need to be careful with creepers because if you come too close and don't mind the distance, they will blow up. Make one one higher. It will be really easy for us actually. It's just cover these and break these.
So, I went home and I got some more space in my infantry and also I brought the locks that I mentioned. <laughs> so it's really easy to set up these. I could just get a bit more of space here. Here be, not, here be fine, I think. So let's put it here. We need it to be six tall. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we need to lit up these plates because when it when it becomes a totem, it won't be spawnable anymore. So we need a totem base, and then we need a lot of. I think it is. Wolf. Wolf. To change the totems, we just we shift and scroll the wheel of the mouse wheel, and we have strength three. Oh boy! Then now we'll be able to deal with these guys really fast. Why? Oh, we got a boss! Shadow Beast. That's the big boy. Did it drop the? It dropped the two shadow gems. Oh, that was great, guys. We got it. Oh, that's really, that's really nice. <laughs> I love it. We got two shadow gems, and we can also make a third one if we if we need them. Oh, nice, nice. So let's go back home, and in the way, I'll try to find a shark because that's something else we need. Maybe even the, even here. Oh, there are sharks here. Great, great, great. You need to be a, a little bit careful with them, because they hit hard. If you have no armor, they take like 8 damage. So it hurts, and it, as soon as you enter the water nearby, they will go after you. Yeah, they are bad guys. <laughs> Don't get fooled by them. They are not cool. Oh boy, there are shotguns here, I forgot about it. No, 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 don't hit me. And we got it too. We need charcoal, we need it. Pit was here. I put this block. It's probably done right now. Yep. What, Ash? Why did we get... What happened here? Why did it all... Why did it... Log stacks will also burn to ash when exposed to air. There's no air! What? Why did... This happen? That's not cool! Oh, we at least got three. Oh, but that's really bad. <laughs> Why? It never happened before to, with me. I don't think there were there was any air pouch here. Ooh, that's weird. I'll leave these. Actually, I won't leave these here because I I won't do it here again. Cause let me see. Great, there's actually the two items we need. So we need seven stone plus three. We need ten stone at least, and two cobble and a wooden gear. Okay, that's fine. Let me see. We have four stone. So let's make the crank first. We need the okay. The toots are on the on the edges. Can put these, these, and these, and here. Smash, and we have the crank. Now I need two cobblestone and two sticks, right? Yeah. Huh? No. Give give me back some of these. Two cobble and two sticks, 
and we have the hand crank. Great, is this is the first quote unquote technology we have. That's great. Now we need to make stone slabs. We did one, but we can't make it less than three. And we need I think five more. Great. That's right. Well, we will actually need one more than this. Which will be done right now. The mill, the grindstone actually, and the stone slab on the top. And we have the mill, the mill stone. Great. Now, this is really easy to, to use. It only has one downside. It's slow. Actually, it has more than one. <laughs> it's slow. It's noisy. Noisy, really noisy. And it consumes a lot of stamina. You see our foot bar drop really fast. Every time you crank, it goes down between one and one and a half. Chicken meat. <laughs> chicken, chicken legs. To make a hopper, a whopper, actually, you need to make a wooden hopper, which is quite easy. Then an um, MK2 whopper, which needs two cobwebs, which is actually quite easy as well. It's just some string and and some stick to then make the flame grilled. Boy, this takes a lot of steps. <laughs> Okay, let's make then. Let's grab a bunch of wood in from from our horses. We have probably a bunch here. That's gonna be enough. We'll need some sticks as well. Let me let me grab these. I think I'll actually turn these into sticks as well because they we use a lot of it. We need ten string because I'm making two hoppers. One will be used for us for our automation and the other for the for whatever the quest needs us to use. So let's make first the, the cobwebs. Where is my rock? Here. Done. We also need a lot of bark, which we have. So let's make the two chests. Oh boy, I really want a, a normal crafting table. Where's the rocks? I need rocks. Rocks! Okay. Two chests. Then we turn them into hoppers. And now we have the main MK2 hopper. And finally, we put these here. Let me re okay the dust in the sides, the shark tooth here, the cedar plank is on the okay the side as well, and the shadow gem in the middle top. Whew. And we got it, guys. <laughs> we finally got the flame grilled whopper. Why is that took some time? <laughs> oh, that was. Oh, that's kind of a big gate on the back. Whew. The next thing I want to do is probably. Oh, actually, we are about to change eras again, ages again. That's really nice. We'll finally enter the age two. We just need to make a, a melter. This is actually a, not that hard. It just takes a lot of time. And we'll be doing that in the next episode, guys. So, for now we'll be ending up here. We managed to get the Flame Grilled Whopper on episode 2. This is actually a lot. <laughs> it, it may not seem like a lot, but this is actually a lot for the second episode. We're going up really fast. I'll see about we making a, taking a breath when we change arrows and maybe build something, build somewhere to live, not to live actually, need, I don't think we need a house here, but maybe where to place our items instead of random carts. 
along along the way and well maybe make this be more pretty of an island i think we can do better way better so guys if you're liking this content please let me know let me know what you don't like as well i need to know so i get better tell me about my pronunciation my english as well any tips any hints please feel free to tell me that'll be really helpful and i'll be i'll be really thankful <laughs> And it will be really helpful for me as well. Thanks a lot for the support. I'm actually receiving a way more viewers than I expected. I expected to see like one or two people watching the first videos, but actually there there are quite a bit of people watching, and I really happy with that. Really, guys, thank you. So I hope you see you next video. Remember to leave your like and subscribe for more. I'll try to put videos every two days. If we continue to grow this fast, I'll try to even to get it even faster. So yeah, that's it guys. A big bear hug, and I see you in the next episode. Bye bye!